जय हिंद अगेन अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल माय व्यूअर्स हु आर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड वी आर अगेन बैक विद अनदर पर्सन हु हैज बीन सिलेक्टेड फॉर राष्ट्रीय मिलिट्री स्कूल एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन इंटरव्यू अगेन आई एम टेलिंग अगेन बिकॉज दिस चैंपियन हैज बीन सिलेक्टेड बिफोर फ्रॉम द अकेडमी एंड फ्रॉम नाउ ऑल्सो ही हैज बीन सक्सेडेड ट्वाइस this because of the medical problem of eyesight he has been rejected and now he has just improved by eating the good foods and also by doing some exercise he has just changed the lens of his eyes and has now become fit for the inter medical of the military school that is why i suggest you all guys that stop eating junk foods or keep yourself away from the mobile phones and all kind of things that will be harmful for your eyes and now dears this interview is going to be one of the best interview from all kinds of series because we are having all kind of questions in this interview and since this chap has been uh, cleared one time before so we will be having cross question from every question also so rishan how are you dear so fine fine yes. how are you feeling after clearing the written examination of rashtriya military school again sir i am feeling very proud so you are feeling very proud yes sir your father might be yes sir isn't it yes sir great so we will again have a interview okay sir nothing to worry about it yes sir are you nervous no sir and you need not to be also okay yes, sir. you are confident enough and prepared enough to speak out anything of any questions in front of anyone yes sir okay dear so dear i want to know something about you tell me something about yourself sir my name is rishan I hail from Bihar. My father's name is Subhida Ravindra Singh. He is a commissioned officer. He is a commissioned in Indian Army. My mother's name is Mrs. Rashna. She is a homemaker. My hobby is to play casino, and my aim in life is to become a commissioned officer in Indian Armed Forces. Okay, tell me something about your previous school. Sir, my previous school name is Army Public School, which is situated in Jaipur. It is approximately 125 rooms and 25 to approximately there are many labs. Okay. Like science lab, mathematics lab, <coughs> biology lab, history lab. There is auditorium and assembly area. There are many kinds of sports held in our school. Okay. And recently there was a animal. Okay, dear. Enough, enough, enough. Okay. Just tell me. Who was your favorite teacher in your school and why? Sir, my favorite teacher was Rashmi ma'am. Okay, why? Sir, because she teaches us English and improve my comprehension skills and talking with each other. Hmm. Like uh, I spelled some words wrong, right? Like as such and as there is a different, there is a difference in speaking all these. So she improved my this. Anything else? And sir, she is also very friendly, friendly, polite, and and sometimes she always she 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 is also our class teacher. And um, beside a class teacher, she is also our friend, friend. not like a teacher. Okay. She teacher she teaches treats us as his own son. Okay. All. And also, I she is very easily accessible. Yes, sir. Helps out. to resolve other queries regarding the co curricular activities too yes sir isn't it a oh, good teacher is that only so which is your favorite subject dear sir my favorite subject is mathematics mathematics yes sir it's my also yes sir and why is your mathematics favorite sir because i think mathematics is the mother of all subjects like all the architect architecture buildings bridges and nothing is possible without math like we are uh standing on uh, we are sitting on a table chair and uh, without measurement this cannot it it can not have a proper measurement of legs so it will uh, sir wo thoda feel sakta hai sir to usse hame baithne mein bhi problem ho sakti hai so sir it is possible without with the help of maths only and mathematics has a fixed procedure to yes, solve any kind of question fix pattern is there okay you need not to remember all the time that what is the answer of this specific question yes, you just sir. have to clear in terms of concepts and you are ready to launch for any kind of queries that is how you solve the entrance examinations questions of mathematics so easily with fast tricks isn't it yes sir yeah that is why okay dear tell me something about your family sir i belong to a nuclear family 
my family consists of three members me my mother and my father my father is a, my father's name is subhada ravindra singh mm -hmm. and he is in army and my mother's name is mrs krishna she is a, she is a homemaker okay dear fair enough tell me peculiar things about your place of residence sir i belong to bihar okay sir the national bird of bihar is house sparrow and there are many kinds of animals and india bihar is the irrigated state much irrigated state in the country most irrigated state yes sir and sir at sometimes it is mostly drought prone and flood prone flood prone area and um the capital of bihar is patna and patna has uh, tara mandal which i have visited and i have found it very nice fair enough dear fair enough okay who suggested you for joining military school and why sir my father suggested me to join in military school sir because he suggested because he wanted to grow in my life and wanted that i become an become a of officer in indian army so why should i take you over other students other students also want to become army officer other students also have came with the same preparation you have made so what is the quality that lying inside you and not in other any other else sir i am punctual to the time and solve questions very fastly and i am obedient to elders so don't you think that other students are obedient sincere dedicated sir they can be but i don't know about them okay sir i know about about me clearly that i am this opportunity to join in military school okay so do you tell me about your percentage scores from class 1 till now sir in class first i got approximately 99% in second i got 100% in third i got 100% in fourth i got 99.8% In fifth, I got ninety nine point four percent. So you are extremely intelligent, extremely intelligent, isn't it? Yes, sir. Or oh, let me tell you about myself. I didn't score never more than sixty percent in my life. Oh, sir. <laughs> But I have cleared NDA for more than five times. Okay. So please maintain this intelligence in your coming life. It will always help you. Okay. Yes, so, sir. What do you know about military school, and why do you want to join it? Sir, I don't know much about military schools, but the things that I know are there are five military schools in India, which are situ which are situated at Chal, Dhalpur, Bel Belgaum, Ajmer, and Bangalore, where I am. And the Belgaum and Bangalore Sanic military schools are in Karnataka. Dhalpur and Ajmer military schools are in Rajasthan, and Chal is in Himachal Pradesh. Anything else you know about military school? <coughs> And sir, I know about this that the it also prepares us for the NDA. Prepares for NDA. Yes, sir. And why do you want to join it? Sir, I want to join Rashtra Military School because it it uh, takes us physically, psychologically, and mentally fit, which a uh, student, which a cadet must be. And the the child studying in RMS is not known as. student it is known as a cadet and there is also a dress like army for cadets which i found it very interesting to wear and i am fond of wearing dress okay fair enough so have you taken any coaching classes for written examination and for your interview sir i have not taken written no i have not taken ex coaching classes for written examination but i have taken classes for interview why didn't you take any classes for your written and taken classes for interview sir because written examination when i saw the syllabus it was similar to the topics and reasoning there was in gk course a similar to what sir similar to our school syllabus school syllabus okay yes, sir. so how did you solve the queries that was arising in your military school syllabus sir sometimes i contact to my school teachers and with my fathers okay and if not then i contact with okay. the so dear what if have you given the examination of sanic school also yes sir so what if you selected into the military school and sanic school which school you will join sir if uh, 
uh, it depends on the situation and I am What situation? So like I, I am not sure that I will join military school or selling school because but the schools are same mm -hmm. and but the school have common goals mm -hmm. and not they have that military school is good or selling school is good we cannot compare they are the same like positive degree Still you have to choose one now which will you will choose? Sir, uh, after going home, after this interview, I will give, I will take suggestions from my father okay, and Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough, okay. Thank you. Uh, what is the motto of military school? Sir, motto of RMS is Shilam Param Bhushana. And which was the older motto? Sir, of older motto, I am not sure. Play it again? Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yes, sir. So play that game. Was the earlier motto changed in 2007? Okay. So, dear, tell me two weaknesses and two strength points about yourself. Sir, two strength points are that that I am very good in mathematics and I talk polite with my elders. And two weakness points are that that I have only one, which is that I wake up late in the morning. You are only one. Yes, sir. One in your home. So you wake up late in the morning. Yes, so it, it, it's not your weakness, dear. It's not your weakness. You just tell your mother, you just wake up me, or just have a set alarm, and you just wake up early in the morning. It's sir, not a weakness. But the problem is that that I not wake up in only one voice. So weakness can be this weakness can be that uh, your communication skills. Uh, you are fond of uh, junk foods. You don't remember the dates in the history of uh, subject and. Uh, you have me low mental stamina and low physical stamina all this can be your weakness bad handwriting all this can be your weaknesses but that can't be weakness okay yes, sir. change it okay okay dear tell me about the transport facility in your area so the transport fa transport fa facility in my area is very good as i live in kent so there is Ken. Sir, Kant, Kent, Kent okay, Kent. area. Okay. Sir, there is a government vehicle uh, uh, battery which uh, which is free to all and we can go anywhere with the help of this. And out out the cantonment area, there are sir, there are government services, sir, government buses, and those all. So, dear, how did you came here, and what preparations you made at home? Sir, firstly, my father booked tickets when I got the interview letter. Okay. Tickets for what? Sir, tickets for Bangalore while, with a... While, um, flight or train? Yeah, sir, fla flight. For okay, flight. Okay, continue. And day before the uh, flight, um, my mother packed the luggage which were needed and my father bought a formal dress for me. Mm -hmm. And on the day of flight... <coughs> Sorry, okay, sir. Okay, no problem. And on the day of flight, I we went to airport at 9:30 as we, we our flight was at 12:30 p.m. And sir, I went there and there was our checking and I was very curious that what how will I see the clouds and sir in the flights. And you are running for the uh, corner seats also. For viewing the site. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Okay. Sir, and in the flight, I asked the air hostess to bring Maggie for me. Uh, first, I get get permission from my father. Mm -hmm. And sir, when I landed at Bangalore Airport, then my father said to his friend to book a guest house, which is in a Air Force Bangalore, Bangalore Air Force Station. Who is Emily from your constituency? Sir, about MLA, I am not sure. So you should go and check it out. Okay. okay Who sir. is MP from your constituency? Sir, about MP, I am also not sure. So it can be weakness. Then I don't know the current affairs. GK. Okay. okay it sir. can also be a weakness. Okay. So it pulls you back from your aim. Okay, sir. So that should not be like that. You should be overall developed. Okay, sir. You should develop all kinds of skills. Okay, dear. Fair enough. Tell me about your short term goals and long term goals. Sir, my short term goal is to get past this interview and join in military school. And long term goal is to join in NDA. Short term goal can't be that you... <coughs> okay. Sorry sir. Short term goal can't be that you 
clear your schooling from military school? Yes, sir. Isn't it? And long term goal was? To join in NDA. To join in NDA and to become a commissioned officer. Yes, sir. Okay, fair enough. Who is your role model and why? Sir, my role model is my father. Why? Sir, because he has only teaches me the path to path to discipline and all this, and he only give instructions when I had doubts. And he is as being in army, he is very disciplined and punctual to time. When I misbehave, he he scolds me, and when I misuses the time, he scolds me that you don't understand the value of a single second. A single second can change the life. How many siblings you are? Sir, I have Only two one? siblings. You have two siblings. Okay. So, how do you help your father and mother? Sir, I help my father by keeping, maintaining his files and doing work in PPTs or that Excel. And sometimes I, I get print of his work. And I help my mother by doing help, help her in household chores. Household chores. Yes, sir. Okay, fair enough. So, if you are in a difficulty or if you are in a problem, who do you approach first? Your father or mother? Sir, it depends on the situation. Situation like? Sir, like if I have spilled milk in the kitchen, then by the scare of mother, I go to my father. Oh. That my mother don't scold me. Okay. Or like if uh, I have done misbehave or that, so I go to my mother. So, you misbehave actually? Sir, sometimes. So, you are? Very mischievous, naughty? No, sir. Then? Sir, sometimes like I came home late. Okay. So it's not good. Yes, okay. sir. So you have been scolded by your father yes, on coming sir. late. Okay, dear. Sir, whom do you love more? Your father or mother? Sir, I love mother more. Mother? Yes, sir. Why? Sir, because mother is the bot mother is the body of love and sacrifice. Okay. And see she always teaches us the path. And from the childhood, she only helped me. So don't you love your father? Sir, I am not saying that I don't love my father. You are saying that you love your mother more? Sir, uh, I have told you that mother is the body of love and sacrifice. And so I have attraction to my mother more. So, loving mother, that doesn't mean you love less your father. It equally means you love both, but you love slightly more your mother. Yes, sir. Okay. So, dear, tell me that what is the importance of red light? Sir, the importance of red light is that that red light is not scattered. <coughs> and sir, it, so that's the reason why red, red light is used to stop the vehicles so that it can be seen from, from far. And red light also symbolizes the form of danger, that there is a danger. Or to stop the train sometimes. Highest wavelength it has, isn't it? Yes, sir. That is why it can also be seen through fog during the foggy and rainy season. Yes, sir. That is why it is planted at the back of the train. Train and also vehicles. Yes, sir. That is why whenever you push the brake, brake lights or the red lights appears. That is why you see that some object is there. Okay. Yes, sir. Reflectors are also comes in the color of red yes, so that sir. they can be visible from the far distance. Okay. So dear, where do you want to see yourself after 10 years from now? Sir, I want to see me in ND after 10 years from now. Okay. How many friends do you have? Sir, I have three friends. Three Tell me something about them. Sir, the good features, the good things about them are that, that they help me in the time of problem. And like uh, about Udalak, he is my best friend because we I understand him and he also. Who is your best friend? Me. Sir Udalak. Udalak, why? Yes, sir. sir, because in the problem he understands me and I understand him. What kind of problems? Sir, like uh, if I have problem, he only told me that what I have to do, like. Uh, I have problem in mathematics, so he okay, helps me. Okay, that is why. Right. So yes, you sir. can trust him completely. Yes, sir. On the all kinds of backgrounds. Yes, sir. So, which is your famous dish? Sir, my famous dish is chole bhature. Chole bhature. Yes, sir. Okay. And which is a famous dish of your state? Sir, famous dish of my state is liti choka. National animal? Sir, 
Sir, National Animal is Tiger. Okay, tell me how many states and union territories are there? Sir, there are 28 states and 8 union territories in India. Then why are you leaving your school? Sir, I am not leaving my school. If I would not get pass in this, I, I am not saying that I am leaving my school. So, just after clearing this interview and once your name shows on the merit list yes, of sir. the final recommended student, you just, then you will leave yes, so that you can progress more and you can sir, then see I yourself as an officer in the near coming future because aim of military school and aim of your is same. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Okay, dear. Tell me all bordering countries of India. Sir, all bordering countries of India are... Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, Bangladesh, Myanmar, and Bhutan, and one more is sir, Nepal. Nepal. Okay. So, what is the motto of NDA? Sir, motto of NDA is... You want to join NDA? Yes, sir. You don't know motto of NDA? Sir. Full form of NDA? Sir, National Defense Academy. IMA. Indian Military Academy. CDS. Chief of Defense Staff. Chief and, Defense Staff of and India. And CDSE. Combined Defense Services Entrance Examination. Okay. So, dear, do you have any doubts regarding this interview? No, sir. It was a very fantastic and very energetic interview with you. I no, hope sir. that this time you go through this interview, you pass, and your name must reflect on the final merit list, and you should join the military.